Good morning, Pointers. Today is Friday, January 6th. It is the B-Day. My name is Addie. And I'm Ryan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At Sparrows Point Middle School, we have pride when we practice safe behaviors, respect ourselves and others, interact with empathy and inclusivity, demonstrate responsible citizenship, and exercise high academic standards. Now, Clement's time with the weather. Hello, Sparrows Point. <laughs> oh, God. It's Friday, and I get to nerd my little heart out tomorrow. I can't wait. Okay, well, as you can see, right now it's raining, and it's going to be a high of 50 degrees and a low of 38. And around 10 a.m., it's going to stop being rainy, and the sun is going to poke out of those clouds like a pimple. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Kenneth B. Here's this week's lunch menu. We'll leave with the National Day. Mm. Yeah. Uh, anyways, today is, today's National Day it is Cuddle Up Day, National Technology Day, National Shortbread Day, and National Bean Day. Happy New Year, Educators Rising. Our January meetings are Tuesday, January 10th, and January 26th. Student Council will hold its next meeting on Wednesday, January 11th, after school in Mr. Wise's room. Intramurals are back. Intramurals will meet in the gym on Thursday, January 19th with Ms. Antonelli. We will pick back up on intramurals every Tuesday and Thursday when basketball seasons are over. It is almost time for our next celebration of Champions Day for second quarter. The next two weeks, you will get the pr chance to earn the privilege of participating in our Celebration of Champions Activity Day on January 17th, 2023. Students will have to earn their way into their, the activities this quarter through their Pointer Pride. The requirements for attending our Quarter 2 Celebration of Champions are zero office referrals, zero suspensions, zero after-school detentions, and less than three minor infractions, like detentions and phone calls home. Now First Page Friday. Today for First Page Friday, we have Lost in the Pacific, 1942, by Todd Olson. Prologue, October 21st, 1942, somewhere over the South Pacific. The Pacific Ocean looked calm and inviting from 5,000 feet up. With the drone of four sturdy motors in Jim Whitaker's ear, but he had no desire to land a 15-ton, four-engine plane down there. To a B-17 bomber, plunging from the sky, the ocean is as unforgiving as a concrete wall. Yet, by 1.30 p.m. on October 21st, 1942, that was the only option left. Whittaker was the B-17's co-pilot. He and the rest of the crew were ferrying a VIP passenger on a top secret mission deep into the war zone. They had completely missed Canton Island, the tiny speck in the great blue where they were supposed to refuel. Now they were flying in a giant square pattern, hoping to spot land. They took turns staring out the windows at the ocean below, mistaking cloud shadows for islands. Island eyes, the airmen called it, the surest sign that desperation had set in. If you want to find out what happened to this crew lost in the Pacific Ocean, check out Lost in the Pacific, 1942, from our library today. Now Tommy with the sports report. Yesterday against Deep Creek, the Sparrows Point boys and girls team uh, faced off and the Sparrows Point boys team lost 22 to 60 and the Sparrows Point girls team won 32 to 16. The word of the day is deprecate which means to express disapproval of. To deprecate a colleague's work is to risk making yourself unwelcome in your colleague's office. What did the police officer say when he saw the snowman stealing? Breeze. Have a great day Point. <laughs>